Welcome back to another episode of Boss Tip Thursday, where I share weekly tips to help you get work done in your business. And today we're talking about my favorite app. I'm going to be sharing some Evernote hacks with you that are going to help you maintain your notebooks and your notes organized and functional so that you can get to them as soon as possible and just keep things structured. Two things before we jump into the five hacks. First, in the description, there will be a playlist of Evernote videos I've done in the past. Make sure to check those out if you want to learn more about it. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, do so now. Make sure to click that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that you can be notified of every new video. The first hack we're going to be talking about is how to create your master notebook. A master notebook is basically just your main notebook where all your web clippings, emails, images, or anything you share with Evernote that's where all these files will go. Some people call their main notebook an inbox notebook, a tickler file. I call mine to be file. So just choose whatever name appeals to you. So here's my master notebook and basically this is where all my junk goes. Everything that I don't know where to put at the moment and I want to save it for later to be filed later as the title says this is where that stuff goes maybe sometimes I just need a note or an image for a few days I don't need to store it in Evernote forever then that's where that file will go to create your master notebook pick a notebook that you already have or create a new one and then come here to this menu and click this notebook info this I icon then you're going to see an option to check mark set as default notebook check mark that click save and that's all now this will officially be your master notebook anytime you share anything from your phone or from other devices to Evernote this is where it'll go now once everything is in this notebook and you're ready to move it to its appropriate notebook at one point you can go ahead and click on the note click on this down arrow here and click whatever notebook you want to send this note to. This is an email I wrote. I'm going to go ahead and send it over to email. And then you just go one by one and go ahead and place them where they belong. So that's the power of a master notebook. That's why you need one and that's how you create one. Hack number two is how to pin a notebook or a note to the top of the list. This to be filed notebook, I use it quite often. The only reason it's pinned up here right now is because it's on recent notebook. But if I want it pinned on the top here, no matter what, here's how to do it. I'm going to scroll down, find this to be filed notebook, click on it, click the I button again, and then change the title. I'm going to put a symbol in front of it, a hashtag, and click save. Once I do that, I go back to my notebooks list, and as you see here, it'll be on top forever. Because symbols come before letters, and all these notebooks are in alphabetical order, this to be filed will stay on top because it has a hashtag in front of it. Another notebook that I want to stay at the top is this course notebook. This is something that I'm working on right now. I'm going to be working on it for um, the next weeks coming up. So I want it to stay on top. So just go here, do the same thing, change the title, and I'm just going to put a period in front of it. You can really do any symbol you want. And then when I go back to my notebook list, you see it's on top as well. So that's one way to pin your notebooks to the top. And I'm going to show you one more way, but this time I'm going to show you with a note instead. So going down to this note here, Sunday check-in. This is the notebook that I use every single Sunday to review view my week. It's basically just a template that I use that I go over, answer these questions about my life, my business, document my analytics, my sales, my numbers, and everything going on in my business here. Now every Sunday I come to this note and then I just copy and paste it into a new note so that I can go ahead and analyze my week. Now since I use this template every single week but it's all the way at the bottom, I'd like for it to stay on top too. Now the reason reason why we cannot use the same method as we did before is because these notes are in order of date created. 
because they involve a lot of dates that's the way I'd like to keep them I don't want them ordered by alphabet the way around that is to click on this note set a reminder and put the notification date to 2030 which is 12 years from now this Sunday template will stay on top because reminders stay on top and it'll stay on top for the next 12 years which is fine by me so that's another way that you can pin a note to the top of your list to make it easier to add. Next hack, how to link notes together. When I'm making my videos, sometimes I reference other videos within that video. And it can be such a hassle looking for all the links to the YouTube videos every time I need it for my description. So the solution was to do this, to make a note full of the short links to each video that way I can just come here copy and paste easily and find them easily so that's why I made this notebook now the cool thing about it is that I can just click this link here and go to my video description for Monday and then I can just quickly paste the link here so it's very useful to use these note links to link notes together so you can just jump from one note to another instead of going in and out of notebooks constantly so let me show you how to do that if you click these three but three little dots up here you can get your note link so click copy note link and I'm gonna go to my boss tip Thursday note and for this description, I don't have the video links here. So I'll just go ahead and type in video links and select that and click this chain button here to insert your link. Go ahead and click add link and paste it apply and there you go now I can jump to the video links from here so if I need some links for these um, resources down here I can just go over to my video links by clicking that button instead of going in and out of notebooks so this is just a super simple example but if you think outside the box there are many ways that you can use this note links to keep your Evernote more structured and use it more efficiently Next hack, how to create a table of contents. Sometimes notebooks can get too cluttered, too filled with notes. Like this recipe notebook here, look at all these recipes. And I mean, I add some all the time. So it can get pretty lengthy and hard to find what you need. So the solution to that is to create a table of contents. This note is called table of contents and then all I have to do is click on any recipe I want and then it'll take me there directly. This makes life so much easier because when I'm meal planning I can see all these recipes at a glance. Now I'm going to delete this note and show you how to create a table of contents from scratch. What you're looking at here is Evernote.com. It's the web version of Evernote. I prefer this web version over anything else because it's just so much simpler to use. But to create your table of contents, you're going to have to go to the Evernote app. To download the Evernote app, click on your little letter icon here at the bottom left hand corner and click download Evernote for Windows or for Mac, whatever you're using. Once you're done doing that, go through the installation process and this is what it will look like. So here's the Evernote for Windows and I just think it's so much more complex. I use it sometimes, but it just seems so much easier to use the, uh, the web version of it. But anyway, we're going to go here to the left hand corner and scroll down to the notebook that I want to create a table of contents for. And that's recipes. To start creating the table of contents, start by holding down your control button and click on every note that you want included in your table of contents. Now, if you want all the notes to be included, then just go ahead and click Control plus the letter A, and that will select them all together at once. Once you're done selecting all the notes you want in the table of contents, go ahead and click Create Table of Contents Note here. It looks like nothing happened, but just click it once, and it sure will be there, but it is in alphabetical order so here it is table of contents 
And of course, whatever you do on this web version of Evernote will translate to your other devices, to your other app on your phone and your computer. So let's go see how that looks. I had to refresh a couple of times, but here is the table of contents back on the web version of Evernote. To pin this note to the top, I'm going to go ahead and use the same method we used previously. Go ahead and add a hashtag to the front of the title and then just hit enter and now it's pinned to the top last hack is going to be how to create notebook stacks if you're a frequent evernote user like i am one problem you may run into is that you have way too many notebooks and it can get pretty lengthy but there's one more way that you can further organize and structure your evernote notebooks and notes and that is by creating stacks a stack is basically a group of notebooks like this one here called business ideas if i expand it you'll see that there's other notebooks it's basically the same thing the notebooks are still their own and the notes within each of these notebooks are still their own nothing changes you're basically just organizing the notebooks on this left panel and grouping them together to keep things organized and of course you can collapse or expand this to keep visual clutter at a minimum now let me show you how to create one we're going to start with the this blog and email i'm going to go ahead and connect them together and call it content marketing to do that i just clicked and dragged email on top of blogs and that initiates the stack it says create stack and what are we going to title it we're going to title this content marketing because that's what these two notebooks are about create stack and now the stack is created and any notebook that I want on top of it I just click and drag it right to the top YouTube is also about content marketing so I just hover right over top of content marketing and drop it there and it'll go ahead and add it so now I can collapse this or expand it whenever I'd like all right and that sums up the five Evernote hacks that I wanted to share with you today I really hope they help you out I know that a lot of this will take some initial investment in your with your time but I think that it pays off in the long run that's how I see it an investment that pays off later so I really hope you try them out if you do make sure to let me know in the comments down below how they work out for you if you have any Evernote hacks to share with us make sure to drop those down in the comments as well hit that like button down below hit that share button down below as well send this video over to another Evernote lover so that they can benefit from it as well and that's all for today I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time